Rain. For an Omaha man, the third time was not the charm. Instead, it was the final straw. Thieves have been targeting his beloved Honda Civic, and now he's had enough. Came TV Action 3 News reporter Emily Zink shares his story. Emily? Well, guys, I know what everyone is thinking, but no, the keys were not in the car, and it wasn't left unlocked. This man just has been that unlucky with his Honda Civic. I couldn't, like, help laughing because I knew... I knew what the reality was, but it was just very surreal. In January, this man, who we will refer to as David, had his car stolen near 38th and Farnham. Days later, police located the 2000 Silver Honda Civic at the Bakers near 72nd and Ames. All four wheels were taken in that uh, situation, so they left the car on the rotors. David had to pay an impound fee, buy new tires, and he even invested in a steering wheel lock. Police say it's a deterrent for thieves. I didn't really think that any thief would be that motivated because I felt like my first thieves uh, kind of just got lucky. A few weeks later, it was deja vu. The um, Realtor actually drove by the home and like found my car running in the driveway and uh, it was running without any keys or anything in the ignition. This time David's car was stolen from 14th and Izzard and found two days later near 81st and Grand. I just think it's a string of bad luck and I think yeah it does definitely have to do more with the car than anything just because it's so so prone to getting stolen. Police say it's a little easier to get into cars such as older model Honda Civics in Accords. That's why they're easily targeted. You know, lightning can't strike the same place three times, um, but unfortunately it did. On Sunday, David's car was stolen for a third time. Like every other time, he took to Craigslist to get his two-door silver Honda with license plate number TTN 075 back. I'm going to turn right around and sell it um, and... Uh, hopefully just be done with it. David doesn't want to deter drivers from buying Hondas. They're great cars. David just wants to help people be aware. You know, no car is invincible. Like, it doesn't matter what year, make, or model you have. Please say always lock your car. Never keep valuables inside. Park in a well-lit area. And if you have a garage, use it. Be prepared for the worst because you really never know when it could happen. A more in-depth description of the stolen car can be found on our website, KMTV.com. If you see it, please call police. Also, I wanted to know how many Hondas were stolen in Omaha back in 2015, but police told me they don't keep track of makes or models. But back in 2013, when we did a similar story, they were able to tell us in a six-month period, close to 200 Hondas were taken. That's a large number compared to other cars. Live in the News Center, Emily Zink, KMTV Action 3 News. All right.